The Monday lunch crowd at the Copper Door in Bedford has servers ringing in orders and getting them to tables ASAP. The owner says they consistently earn $20 to $30 an hour. Our tipped employees in particular, they like the current situation. They Our employees understand how important the tip credit is to their livelihoods. And Tom Boucher took that message to Capitol Hill, speaking on behalf of the National Restaurant Association, advocating for current pay structure rules for tipped workers to stay as they are. Currently, employers can pay servers and others a lower base wage and they get gratuity from customers. If the combination of the two doesn't hit the minimum wage, employers must make up the difference. But some states and cities have mandated tipped workers be paid the same base wage as non-tipped employees. Advocates for that say tips are unreliable. They go up and down shift to shift, week to week, season to season, month to month, but your rent and your bills do not go up and down every week, month, season to season. But Boucher told lawmakers if he and other restaurants had to pay more out of pocket. Restaurants operate on very slim margins, and when you start adding this false labor cost into your model, you have to change something. You either have to raise prices or decrease staff, but in some cases both. Now, voters in Massachusetts are actually going to be deciding on a version of this uh, later this year in November. If approved, ballot question five would have employers pay tipped workers the state's full minimum wage. That's $15 an hour by 2029.